Archive 81 is one of the latest horror thriller series to have hit the 2022 Netflix viewing schedule. It quickly garnered the attention of a huge audience through its captivating and suspense-filled storytelling and exceptional acting. One of the best parts of the show is that, even though it contains supernatural elements, the pacing leading up to every scare is slow, but so unexpected. If you've already watched the first season and find yourself impulsively checking for any news of season two, here are a few similar shows to keep you occupied until then. At number 10, them. For anyone looking for a bit of social commentary along with their horror and mystery, Them is just the show for you. The show takes place in 1950s Los Angeles, following the life of a black family that has just moved into a predominantly white suburb. Apart from the racial struggles that this family faces, there are more sinister and horrific things that begin to happen inside their own home. Them is a must-watch because it is filled with the coolest horror aspects combined with a ton of mystery. This in particular is what makes it the perfect watch for fans of Archive 81. Also, one of the best things about Archive 81 is the ominous atmosphere surrounding the building where Melody films. The same type of atmosphere is very much present in them. Once you look past the mystery and horror, you may even be able to dwell a little more on the more serious themes of race and violence in them. Next, at number 9, is Equinox. This show pulls off the mysterious bit by telling the story of the nightmares plaguing the life of a girl who was the only survivor of a graduating batch that vanished into thin air in 1999. Intriguing, right? Astrid, the surviving girl, was only nine when her batchmates vanished without a trace. She is the sister of one of the missing students, and soon after the incident, she finds herself having unexplained visions of the horrors from it. In 2020, over two decades after the disappearance, Astrid starts having the same visions again, and becomes hellbent upon finding out what happened to her sister and the rest of her class. If you are particularly into the mystery of Archive 81, then you need to give Equinox a shot. Now, at number eight, Brand New Cherry Flavor. This series is based on the novel by Todd Grimson, and even though it may not be a horror mystery genre-defining show, it does promise one hell of a ride for viewers, especially those who go into it not knowing what to expect at all. The story revolves around a film director named Lisa Nova who hires a woman claiming to be a witch to exact revenge on an immensely influential Hollywood producer. Lisa eventually finds herself in a situation that makes her question herself and her sanity as she falls into a pit of self-doubt and paranoia. Viewers are likely to be left questioning their own sanity as well. This is a show you should definitely put down on your list, especially if you are one of the people who enjoy the dark and suspenseful parts of Archive 81. Next at 7, Castle Rock. Lawyer Henry Deaver returns to his home in Castle Rock, Maine, after a prisoner at Shawshank State Prison, widely known as The Kid, specifically asks to see him. As a series adapted from the work of the great Stephen King himself, Castle Rock is a must-watch for every horror fan. While the second season may be slightly more action-driven, the first is filled with plenty of elements of horror, like ominous children wearing animal masks and horrific events as Henry attempts to recall the time during his childhood when he disappeared for 11 days. The overall vibe of the first season is dark and mysterious, similar to the one that Archive 81 has, and will have you hooked till the very last episode. Now sitting at 6, Midnight Mass. While it may not be a part of Flanagan's haunting anthology, Midnight Mass is still an excellent creation by Flanagan himself. The show departs from the horror elements audiences had come to expect from Flanagan's work in Hill House and Bly Manor, but is similar in the sense that it too combines horror with mystery. It is a terrifying tale of mortality, one that is not so much spooky as it is catastrophic. The story revolves around a small island community that is quite religious. The arrival of a new charismatic pastor sets off a series of supernatural phenomena that test the community's faith in some of the worst possible ways. This show is the perfect watch for those of you who enjoyed Archive 81. It combines horror and mystery in a way that leaves audiences scratching their heads in confusion and dwelling over the intense religious themes long after they are done watching. Now, at number 5, The Haunting of Bly Manor. This is the second entry in Flanagan's haunting anthology. The difference is, this one is set in the UK instead of the US. Like The Haunting of Hill House, the story of this series also involves a spooky manor with dark secrets. Most of the actors from the first entry in the anthology return as different characters, playing their roles just as brilliantly this time around. A nanny arrives from America to serve as the au pair for the children living at Bly Manor. During her time there, she experiences supernatural and often terrifying things, which lead her to believe that the house is most definitely haunted and there is something extremely fishy about the family living there. Even though this series relies more on jump scares than Archive 81 and The Haunting of Hill House, it is still a must-watch for every horror fan. Next, at number 4, Channel Zero. This might be a bit of an underrated show, even after four seasons, but is definitely a horror series compelling enough to watch for any true horror fan. It is an anthology series that is based on creepypastas, which takes audiences on an exciting 
journey into some of the most interesting yet frightening tales ever told. The series is criminally underrated for everything it brings to the table as a horror mystery. It adds an eerie yet satisfying twist to age-old tales, like that of the Tooth Fairy, to present an interesting plot with deep storylines, suspense-filled scenes, and fascinating characters. Season 1 and 3 of Channel Zero are most similar to Archive 81 because they deliver the same type of tense mystery. The mystery of each of the stories is what drives the series and keeps audiences glued to their screens, impatiently clicking onto the next episode, dying to make sense of everything as it unravels slowly but oh so smoothly. Sitting at number 3 is The Terror. The Terror is a unique mystery show that every one of you would thoroughly be captivated by because of how it deals with the unknown. The paranoia experienced by the unassuming characters transfers onto the audience, making it a stressful but enjoyable viewing experience. The show is set in 1847 and revolves around the crews of two naval ships that have set off on an expedition to the Arctic North. The ships end up getting stranded in the ice, which is when the crew begin to experience terrifying things. At first, the audience is led to believe that the show is based on realism, but as it progresses, the elements of a horror mystery become a lot more evident. Like Archive 81, the show is paranoia-inducing horror, offering brilliant twists and turns. It may be slow-paced, but filled with tense scenes, incredible acting, breathtaking visuals, and impressive cinematography. Up next, at number 2, The Haunting of Hill House. In the first of the haunting anthology directed by Mike Flanagan, the story focuses on a broken family that was forced to abandon Hill House when they were younger because of the darkness that had taken over the house and their mother. Throughout the series, each member of the family is shown to be going their separate ways, finally reuniting when one of their siblings dies tragically in the same house as their mother. The story jumps between the past and present, blending exceptional storytelling with bone-chilling scenes. This is a perfect series for fans of Archive 81 because it carries the same elements of the horror mystery genre that are so enticing. The acting is a huge bonus that makes the viewing experience infinitely better. And at number one, Dark. Dark has been one of Netflix's most well-received shows in the mystery thriller genre. The story is set in a fictional town named Winden and follows the aftermath of the sudden and unexplained disappearance of a child. Over the course of the story, the paths of four estranged families overlap, leading to revelation of age-old secrets, secret lives, and fractured relationships. The series has received critical acclaim for its settings, visuals, tone, music, and acting. It does an excellent job of exploring themes of existentialism, time travel, and the possibility of alternative universes. Fans of Archive 81 will find this show particularly enjoyable because of how chilling of a mystery it is. It is a story of murder, absolution, and revenge with religious undertones that add to the dark and sinister vibes that viewers have come to love in Archive 81. That's a wrap for this video. Have you watched any of these shows yet? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.